so guys today in this video i'm going to show you that how can we integrate payment gateway in the android app okay so you can see on the screen this is a button join subscription i will click on it so we will see this bottom sheet i will select three month in just 25 inr and then here you can see the payment gateway and amount so i have to enter my number and after that i will click on continue and now you can see all the payment gateway and methods that is available card net banking wallet pay later beam apps google pay phone pay all these functions are available so i will simply go with the phone pay and uh, just wait for the payment uh, success and uh, this will only take few seconds so basically now it is in a test mode so the money is fake it's not real and uh, you will be direct directed in app in three seconds two seconds one second and we came back to the app okay and you can see that we have selected three month and payment is successful so in this tutorial i'm going to show you that how can we create this functionality how can we use payment gateway inside android app so without wasting time let's start so guys very first of all you have to start with creating razor pay account okay so for creating razor pay account you have to simply visit razorpay.com and uh, simply apply for onboarding and uh, submit all the required details like your identity proof your address proof your uh, business application or business website okay so you have to share the website link and application link on which you want to integrate the razor pay sdk so you have to complete all these process and after completing all these steps you will be able to see your dashboard that after successful account creation you will see that you are in test mode fine and uh, now actually i also have live mode but for you guys who will implement it for the very first time so you guys will see the test mode okay so after doing all the steps of registration you will see a dashboard like this so go back in android studio and in the project chat it i'm going to show you that how can we integrate the payment gateway okay and uh, for using this service in this application we will simply create a feature of showing profile viewers okay like when user will join the membership or you can say subscription so they will be able to see who have viewed their profile or dp you can say okay so it's just a basic demo which i can show you that how can we implement a subscription kind of functionality where users can pay for a premium feature like this okay hope you guys are understanding so very first of all what you have to do is um open your activity profile.xml uh this okay and uh, here you have to simply create another text view which is going to be profile viewers so basically when user will go in the profile activity so we will take user in profile viewers activity also okay so simply increase this uh, text view which is profile view and then you have to simply create a new activity which is profile viewers act dot java fine guys now inside this activity we will be using constant layout as a parent layout then we are using a very basic text view for showing the profile viewers and then we are using a recycler view which is uh, gone which its visibility is gone for now okay we will make it visible when user will simply join the subscription that's a very simple thing okay so simply write down this code then after that you can see that we are using this button for joining the subscription so when user will click on this button so we will show this subscription bs xml file so basically you have to create xml layout file which can be done like uh, click on this layout and then new then simply layout resource file and uh, this is how you can give name subscription bs.xml and then simply finish okay after that you have to add this part of code which you can see linear layout and uh, then inside it again another linear layout which uh, will look like this okay and then simply show a subscription then text view for subscription then we have to close that linear layout after that three more text views like one month in just 10 inr two month for just 20 and three month for just 25 or 25 inr so that is a very simple functionality that we are implementing here you can see complete code on the screen it's not that complicated thing guys you know you can just uh, uh, simply do it by your own also so this is the subscription bs.xml that we will show when user will click on this join subscription button fine so now come back to this profile viewers activity dot java part so here basically you have to write button join btn string amount equals to you have to give it null inside on create simply give uh, write down uh, okay before that let me show you about the sdk that you need to add so before that guys you have to add this repository maven central just after this plugin okay i will provide the code on membership portal okay guys and uh, after that you have to add the dependency of razor pay which is uh, here com dot razor pay dot checkout dot 1.6.40 
this is the latest dependency of razor pay payment gateway fine guys and so you have to add this very first of all and also you have to add uh, this okay and you have to add uh, two more lines which is uh, here this uh, maven jitpack.io and uh, maven google.com so you have to add these two lines also and you may be thinking that why i'm adding this extra line because it is for zero cloud services okay so basically for now you have to focus on this one and focus on this one you have to add these two lines okay and uh, in the module level you have to add this repository and dependency after that simply click on sync now and wait for a successful sync if you receive any error so you just have to simply change your compile sdk version to 34 target sdk version 34 that's all fine then simply close it and uh, then after that we can proceed in the java code so here you have to write checkout dot preload profile viewers activity dot this then you have to keep the reference of join btn which is the join btn okay when user will click on it so as you can see that we have to show the bottom sheet so we will create a method which is show bs inside this method show bs we will simply write the code for showing the bottom sheet and hiding the bottom sheet okay so very first of all these first three lines will simply uh, give the reference of the file okay and then you have to give the reference of the all the child that we are using like we are using three text views for one month two month and three month okay this is how you can give its reference and the name of subscription bs dot file here you have to give fine when user will click on one month dot set on click listener so what you have to do you have to create a method start payment and pass amount as 10 rupees and amt equals to 10 fine two month will be start amount 20 amt will be 20 and three months start amount start payment will be 25 and amt equals to 25 so now we will focus on the start payment this is the important part of the complete tutorial now in the last you have to write these four lines also for hiding the bottom sheet okay the weight will come up and the weight will go down so that functionality we are handling here like the style the background the gravity all these animation thing okay so simply write these four lines also now after that come to this important part which is public void start payment pass parameter of s amount okay string s amount then simply you have to write this so we can rounding off the amount because you know in razor pay what happens that if you will directly pass the string which is 100 so 100 means 1 rupee okay so it's a bit confusing because for example you are passing 100 as a string and you're thinking that you are sending 100 inr but this is not how it works okay the razor pay will take it as one rupee so for uh, solving that problem what you have to do you have to do uh, write a line like this math round load pass loads s amount into 100 fine so after that we can get the exact amount like if you are passing 100 as a string so it will be as 100 inr in razor pay as also okay so you have to write this part of line which is important then you have to initialize the checkout functionality which is checkout checkout new checkout okay now here you have to simply uh, pass the key so now how can you get this key this is a key that will get on your razor pay account okay and uh, in the test mode you have a different key and when your account will be live i mean when your onboarding process is successfully done by the razor pay team then they will uh, you will be able to see the live mode key okay and how can you get the key for that you have to click on this account settings and then simply api keys here click on it and now you can see that you are in test mode so only test data is shown switch to live mode to see real transaction data so you can see that this is a key that i'm using here okay rzp test and you have to pass the same key here okay this is for test mode so any payment that you make is just you can say fictional it's not real payment okay it's not real money it's just for testing purpose so this is how you will get the key id in your live mode and after passing that key id here now you can pass any image if you want to show as an icon but for now i would like to pass this icon okay and uh, which is the you can say logo of our application too and now here you have to simply create a json object object new json object and simply you have to put some values like name chat subscription description test payment okay now here important thing comes okay first of all you have to write this put name chat description description test payment you can uh, set any theme if you want i just leave it because you know um it's not important now here comes the currency okay so you can see that the object currency will be in inr okay now amount so amount here you have to write amount and pass the amount that we are getting from this integer not this one you can see that this is s amount and after uh, rounding it off now it becomes amount and you have to pass that amount here now here comes two important things like for example if object dot put prefill contact if you will pass your phone number here and email id here so you don't have to enter it 
before the payment when you will open the payment gateway so you don't have to write it because you have already given these values if you will leave it null so the user have to enter their phone number and email id before making the payment so it depends on you that if you want to if you want your users to submit details so you can leave it okay and if you uh, don't want your users to fill these details so you can take it from them before the payment and pass that value here fine but for now for the demo i'm showing you like this like your phone number is already passed and this is the email id okay and in the last you have to simply write this checkout open profile viewers activity dot this object fine in the uh, catch part you can simply pass that we are facing any error kind of thing okay so this was the only important part for you guys till now now after that um, for checking the status of payment that it is successful or failed what you can do you can simply write app compact activity after that you have to write implements payment result listener so basically it will generate two methods when you will add this you will see this red bulb click on it implement methods and after implementing methods you will see two methods which is on payment success which you can see on payment success and on payment error so inside this on payment success we are simply using switch amount so we can check that if payment is successful then user have selected which month okay so case 10 uh, so we will show those messages that one month user has selected if 20 two month if 25 three months so basically it's a very simple switch case that we are using for identifying that which month user have selected after the success of the payment okay now simply in the here you can show like uh, payment successful that's all okay and even if you want so you can uh, comment it and inside the on error you can simply show that failed and if you want so you can pass this string also but for now just failed fine guys so this was a complete part of code that you have to write in order to make a payment now remember that this is a test mode key so the amount that you will uh, pay is not for is not real okay so don't worry about it and uh, after your onboarding is successfully done from reserve pay team side they will call you and they will ask you about your application they about your website if you want to integrate uh, sdk in mobile app so you have to upload it on play store and then share its link okay if you have a website so you have to make it live and then share its link because they will come they will check your website and they will ask you to do some changes the logo should be fine the website name or business name should be same the uh, app name and uh, your business name should be same so they have some you know conditions and criteria that you have to fulfill in order to use the razor pay sdk but trust me once you are done you your account is successfully created then you know payments taking payments is very easy yeah so razor pay provides us qr code online e-wallet i mean credit card all the payment modes are available so after successful account creation you will be able to do it so uh, now we will run the application and then we'll see that uh, is it working or not so guys now i'm running this application in my pro just because i'm not passing correct mobile number that's why i have to pass my mobile number here and after that continue so guys now you can see that all the payment methods are available now here cards net banking wallet pay later upi okay so i will proceed with the and you can also see the amount 10 and if you will click on view details subtotal 10 okay so after that i will select phone pay so now because we are running in test mode so you can see that the money is not real okay and the payment will be successful within seconds okay so you just have to wait and uh, you will be redirected in four seconds payment successful okay and you can see that we we came back to the app and one app i mean one month and successful both the toast are working it means that after the payments are successful we are able to know that we have selected for one month okay so you can see the payment gateway is working fine in in next tutorial we will work on the time limit and validity of the subscription okay so if you like this tutorial please like share and subscribe my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so you will never miss any update thank you for watching